Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Here we see the laser tube firing. Kind of interesting. Uh, you know, basically what it does is create um, high voltage arc, sort of like an arc lamp, and then it uh, lasers the CO2 in the tube and then it releases it out the mirror in the front. Now this is operating in the ultraviolet spectrum, so, uh, sorry, not the ultraviolet spectrum, the infrared spectrum. Getting my uh, things mixed up here. So, so we're not really seeing the, the light at the beam like we would in a visual light laser, like something in, in the 400 nanometer range. Uh, this is operating, I think, well above 1,000 uh, nanometers. So, uh, which is actually more effective for a laser because it's uh, working in a higher absorption uh, range. So, uh, basically, right now, what we're doing, and we have other video, and I'll probably cut that in, is we are. Um, we, we just cut out or etched a uh, little heart. Um, so I'm not sure it was supposed to cut it out. I'm still trying to figure out the software. So <clears throat> definitely did the etching. And boy, without a vent, it's, uh, it's crazy. So uh, one of the big things we did is had to align the mirrors. And I, I got to tell you, folks, aligning the mirrors was a royal pain. So. Uh, uh, it took me about a good hour uh, to do that. In, in a couple things, I, I did discover back here that um, a screw, one of the heads were, were broken off, so that, that's an issue. I also had to take this off to readjust it to even get close, and one of the things you'll notice, I marked it so I could realign it back on here when I put it back. Um, so the other piece that I did was I used the standard uh, sticky no trick, but uh, one, one big thing is it was so far out of alignment, what I did, and sorry here, I'm going to move the camera to get it, is I used a full size sheet of paper and put it in front of the laser so I could see the marks, and you can see the marks on the paper, it was way off, and this is one of the things, folks, uh, I can't exercise uh, the, the, the piece of safety enough. Uh, because this thing was shooting way out over here and, and uh, so uh, definitely uh, wear eye protection uh, when working on this and, and be very very safe because this this is a dangerous tool because you know it's not like a standard router or something you see the bit you don't see the cutting agent in this case um, one of the things here is also when you press the test button it fires as long as you hold it, so it's not just, you know, you hit the button and it fires and stops, you know, in so many, you know, milliseconds or something. As long as you hold that button, it's firing, so one of the things I definitely recommend when you're doing it, you know, turn it down. I turned it down very low, so I actually had to hold the button for several seconds to get it to burn the paper. Uh, also, this paper starts on fire very easy, so uh, just even with modest, um, um, you know, current, the, the paper would just burst into flame. So be, be very careful with that. Um, also be very careful with keeping the mirrors clean. So that was another big challenge in this whole thing. So uh, again, uh, qu quite the learning experience. The software, um, I'm using LaserDraw at this time. I didn't get MoshiDraw, thankfully. Uh, LaserDraw and CorelDraw installed well in my Windows 7 machine that, that's running all this. Uh, so that's good. Uh, but I, I'm trying to figure out how to do the uh, the jobs. So, uh, uh, li like for example, so I engraved this, but it was also supposed to run a job to cut it out, and uh, it obviously didn't. And I see a couple videos on YouTube about. And I think I'm going to have to go back and watch it and, and experiment a little bit. But uh, so, anyways, uh, at least the laser tube's working. Everything's working. The pump is crap. Um, the one thing with the pump, you can kind of see what I've got going on with the pump down here in the bucket. Uh, it stops quite a bit and I have to shake it to get it to start again, so I've got to be very careful with that. And again, this is only, I, I, before I go cutting and messing on this, I just want to make sure everything works. So it, it all appears to you, so that's good, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, uh, but it's going to have to be a different pump. Also, the hose doesn't fit the pump. So if you get one of these, don't expect the hose to fit the pump. I had to jury rig something just for <coughs> testing. Yeah, the acrylic fumes are getting to me here. Um, 
even you're running an uh, ionic air purifier. But anyways, uh, that was a real pain. So uh, again, just kind of wanted to update uh, everyone on what was going on with this. And uh, again, we're moving forward. We're we're going to cut down. I've already measured, and again, I just wanted to make sure all this worked before I started cutting pieces. We're going to cut. We, we we remove the exhaust from back here. We're going to cut it on the bandsaw. I made an adapter actually on the printer. It just finished um, printing for the uh, bands auto hook the vacuum for a dust collector. So um, you know, because it'd be a little bit messy when I cut that uh, metal. So anyways, we're going to jump to that. And uh, again, please hit like below. A lot more of these coming. I'm just getting this thing set up. Um, you can follow me on this journey if you're interested in buying one. Uh, because again, one of the other things I'm going to do is I talked about in the uh, other videos. I'm replacing this bed with a honeycomb laser bed so I can get get a 12 by 12 piece in here so I believe I should be able to cut at the end of the day pretty close to about 11 by 10 out of the 12 by 12 sheet good so uh, that's actually very cool so uh, again follow along on this journey. Cheers.